You got a form 1098 mortgage interest statement, and you need to know how to put this in TurboTax. Let's get it done. All right, so in this particular situation, I'm gonna go over one where the mortgage is over that threshold of $750,000 with the IRS and find out how you know that limitation on the interest deduction works here, as well as I'm gonna go into how that works for the state side of things with the state of California. All right, so here's the mortgage interest statement. <clears throat> kind of redacted a lot of things here, but nonetheless, got some good stuff here right in the middle. You'll see that mortgage is over 750, was originated after that date of, I believe it's uh, 2017, the end of 2017. So anyways, 22 is when this thing came into play here. All right, so for TurboTax, we're gonna click on this deductions and credits button here. Click that mortgage interest, right? Form 1098, there it is. And did you pay for any home loans in 23? Yes, we did. And how do we input this information? I'm not gonna put it through here because I'm not gonna log in. I'm gonna upload it from my computer, check that box, hit continue, and drag and drop. And let's see how well TurboTax does here. All right, so since I redacted this, it's not picking up the name, and I'm just gonna type in bank, hit continue. Uncommon situation, is this, the seller is, the, is financing this loan? No. Someone who isn't my spouse co-owns this loan. No, none of these apply here. Ah, oh, look at this. Well, it looks like it didn't pick it up properly. So let's do a side-by-side -side here and make sure we get this inputted correctly. Okay, so box one shows not five cents, 13,428.79 cents, outstanding mortgage, 3387.5, got the date right, and got box five right. All right, that's it. Hit continue. Nice. Is this loan secured by property owned? Yeah, I'm going to say this is like my primary home here. Here we go, primary home. Let's do it. Continue. Did you pay points? No, we didn't. Uh, we did, it was already paid, or we didn't pay any points. I'm gonna hit the second one here. Generally, you would see that if you paid points here. There we go, box six. Continue. Is this loan the most recent of your loans? I'm gonna say yes, it is. Let's get some details on the loan. The loan is a HELOC? No, this loan is a refinance? No, this is, I'm gonna say the original loan here. Congrats, there we go. All right, we're gonna get a, a break here. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna hit continue. Let's wrap up your mortgage interest deduction. Okay, continue. Ah, there it is. Mortgage interest is being limited. Ah, so instead of 13,000, it's only allowing for 11,942. Continue. All right, well, let's make sure that's accurate, right? I'm gonna hit edit, continue. All right, so there's the 1098. We input this thing. We're going to hit continue here. Let's wrap up your mortgage interest deduction. Based on the thing, interest deduction may be subject to IRS guidelines. Like I said, the 750. Double check a few things. So we got to review this, right? Tell us a little bit more about this thing. Details enter the loan balance as of the end of the year, right? So we got to take a look back here. Generally, most of the time, they are recorded here. So you'll see. Principal activity is what we're looking at here. So the beginning balance is that 843 and the ending balance the 840. So based on this, they're going to calculate what your average balance is of the mortgage. Okay, so we'll put that 840 number in here. 840. Here we go. Let you guys kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, voila. 840987. What else does it say? 0.15. Uh, oops, didn't mean to check that button. There we go. Um, wasn't paid off, so there we go. Continue. Do either of these apply to the loan? The original loan was taken out on or before, and the loan amount has not increased due to a, cra a cash out refi. So it was not before then, right? This is a 2022 loan. The home purchase started, and then we scheduled to close it and closed before, right? No, so neither of these apply. Continue. And we'll hit, there it is. So we did it, outstanding principal balance. 
there we go. So there's the adjustment, right? That's the mortgage interest that we are allowed to deduct. And to double check this, I'm gonna show you how they got this information. All right, so here's the information from, again, the loan over here, right? The beginning balance, the ending balance, what was paid off. And here's the average balance for the year. So essentially, that plus that divided by two equals that 842, okay? Now, that was in box one, the 13,000 from the 1098. We know the threshold with the feds is at 750. So we're over the 750, so we can't get the full amount, but we do get like 89%. How did I do that, right? I am dividing 750 over the 842 to get that 89% here. Now, I'm multiplying that 89% by the interest that we got here, and that's the deductible interest. Now, we should be able to take a look at that and see, yep, there it is, 11,959, 11,958,85. So rounding up. So this is good. So it's done, done properly. All right, continue. Now, for the state side of things, at least with California, the threshold is at a million dollars. We're not obviously at a million dollars, so we can get that full 13,000. Let's take a look at that. All right, on my TurboTax, I'm going to click that state review button over here and go through this stuff here. Let's see, see what's going on. All right, so on the state side of things, right, I'm on the state returns here. Had to hit a lot of next buttons on here. There's a lot of stuff that you kind of got to go through to, to be able to get to this. But eventually, you're going to see this mortgage interest adjustment, right, that 1470. And that should be the difference between these two numbers here, right, this... 1470. There it is. Okay. So they're going to add that as an additional deduction on the state side of things. So this was all done properly. Another way to double check this is if you go to the actual file, click that file button, and we go take a look at the actual return itself that TurboTax is going to be filing. All right. So another way to check if this was done properly, you would click on this file button and click, click in essentially until you get to this part here where it says like ready to e-file. I would check this file by mail, right? These both say e-file, so I'm going to change these both to mail here. The Fed and the state file by mail. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to say I have errors and I'm going to keep fixing without errors. And let's just double check kind of where we're at here. I can download the return. There it is. All right, so if you go to the Schedule A here, you're going to see where that mortgage interest deduction is with the feds, right, which is done properly. And then for the state side of things, you have to go to Schedule CA. You're going to scroll all the way down where it has this itemized deductions right here, and it'll have that, right, that mortgage interest there plus the addition to get to the total amount that we reported. So this was done accurately. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, smash that like button. Subscribe for more of these type of videos. If you haven't already, please use that link in the description so you can help support our channel. I get a little chunk of the change. Doesn't change the price on your end, but it does help us out. Thank you so much, guys.